Hello guys, welcome to Chef Reno's show. I just turned the camera on to give you the best Italian recipe and cuisine for all over Italy. So stay with me, do not go anywhere. You're gonna have lots of fun. Today we are traveling to Roma, Rome, the capital of Italy. And we do the carbonara, the beautiful carbonara. And we use a, a bacon or pancetta, but fortunately I couldn't find guanciale. Very hard to find, in, especially these days. Then we gotta use, so 80 grams or uh, bacon at this point, pancetta. We need roughly about 40, 20 grams, 25 grams of Romano cheese, beautiful Romano cheese. It's outstanding. And this is one of the cheese the Roman they used to do back in the century, back you know the old old days. Uh, we need a Parmesan cheese. I use the hard the, the the hard one, give it more flavor. And you need two eggs, olive oil, and we need about 80 grams of bucatini. They are already letting go in, in the cook. We ready to go. So let me get a glass of wine. If you guys have wine at home, please take advantage because relax. Take your time and enjoy the ride, because it means a lot to me. Hi guys, the first place you want to check it out is La Fontana di Trevi, or Trevi Fountain. It was created in 1762 by the design architect Nicola Salvi and completed by Giuseppe Pannini and other several others. And it's so famous and appeared in several movies like Roman Holidays and La Dolce Vita and lots, lots different more movies. And you might want to check it out when you go to Rome. So now we need pot. We put olive oil. Come on guys, come here guys. Look inside, beautiful. Now don't be shy about olive oil. See, nice and popping out, right? Now we get the pancetta. We put in there. Now they want the pancetta to be nice and crunchy. This is the trick, okay? You want that melted. You need to be nice and melted. Beautiful. The second place you want to check it out is La Città del Vaticano, the Vatican City, and where you actually can visit the St. Peter Basilica or La Basilica di San Pietro. When it was began of the, the construction in 18 April, of 1506 and it was completed in 18 November of the 1626 year so you might want to check it out it's beautiful it's and it's amazing so let's go back here so the the, the, the pancetta and nice and crunchy see how crunchy it is that's what you want nice and crunchy you want a crunchy 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 see and you do that and crunchy. Look at that. The thing is, you gotta use a good eggs. I use a free range eggs, good eggs, because you gotta have the good flavor. So it's very easy recipe, but you don't wanna screw it up. So now, we get the pasta. Now this is very... And for that, I don't tell you what kind of pasta I use. We use the bucatini, okay? Bucatini is good stuff. Now, now come the good part. Now we're gonna put our salt, our black pepper. Ah, look at that. Come here, guys, look. Look inside, guys. Beautiful. The salt. Ah, look at that. Salt. And now we put the, the egg. Before you put the eggs, the eggs you gotta be the last thing. We wanna grind it, grind it some Parmesan cheese. Adesso vi faccio vedere il piatto forte, cioè il pollo alla romana. Oh, alla romana si fa così. Questo è il pollo alla romana, è il pollo più forte che esiste a Roma. Proprio è una cosa tradizionale che si dice, ah, che non ci porti a mangiare. È il pollo fatto con i peperoni alla romana. Now we do a little bit. Romano cheese at the same time. Now we're gonna have 
our eggs. We put it, you put the fire back on again. We put our eggs about there. Huh? Look at that. Huh? Now you you make sure you want to make sure everything nice and blend together. Hmm? Look at that. Huh? Beautiful. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. Oh, this is beautiful carbonara. Beautiful carbonara. And now we are going to put on the plates. I love, I love Roma. If you guys know, please leave any comment about Rome, about the culture. If you guys know any more recipe from Rome and you want me to cover next time, please do that for me. And big thank you for my subscriber, my custom for the restaurants, and everybody. They love me and they're they're helping me and they support me. The Parmano cheese. Look at that. Beautiful. Romano. Parmesan cheese. Oh, look at that. You can beat that. You cannot beat that. And now, we are going to put a little black pepper. Fantastico. These are carbonara from Roma, the old room, La Roma, La Roma, where the Vatican is actually located, where's all the culture located, all the beautiful site, where the La, La Fontana di Trevi, I mean, uh, everything is in Rome. So if I miss anything from culturally, please keep it. But this is a fantastic carbonara. So now let's get the wine and we have to try Let's get a fork, let's get a fork. Carbonara, carbonara with pancetta, pancetta parmigian cheese romano. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway, all the recipe will be down on the comment below it, around the, all the way down. I leave all the information so you know how to do it. Please support us, give a beautiful like up, push the button for subscriber. Like, so you know exactly, and push the notification on. So, next CD that we're gonna cover, you're gonna be aware of it. So, you don't have to worry about it. Go search my name, Chef Reno, on YouTube. You just put in the notification button, and you know exactly where I'm gonna be on. What you mean every week, by the way. So, by the way, you guys, I love you, and I'll see you guys for next week for another fantastic recipe, another region, another city from Italy, Italia. I love you, ciao. A me il pollo mi piace fatta la romana, eh. fatto con i peperoni e il, e il Napoleone veniva a Roma, il, il Napoleone mangiava il pollo che gli facevo io, sta tranquillo, ora eh ti no. faccio vedere come lo faccio. Non si arrabbi, non si arrabbi. E eh no, che c'entra, ma arrabbio sì, me